Oh yeah. Look at that view. Oh jeez. Good morning, Jax. Good morning, viewers. How y'all doing? I'll be uh, uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited internet here at another conservation area, beautiful lakefront here. Um, if you missed my last video, guys, I uh, updated you all that um, my plans are changing. My next destination has changed for the end of this video because Miranda has a, a horrible ticking, knocking sound coming from the engine. about 124 miles from Robert's place, my mechanic buddy in Kansas City area. So I'm doing that instead. Gonna have him uh, take a closer peek at what's going on and uh, probably pull both valve covers off once again and see what we can find. Just made my coffee, about to roll out. I'm gonna be very, very careful with Miranda today. I got a plethora of YouTube advice in my last video. Everything from a flywheel clicking to people saying it's a it's a, a rod making that noise. <laughs> you got to take it all in stride. I, I appreciate all the different ideas, but that sound is the same exact sound as before we did all this. It's the same exact sound. I can almost promise you for some magical reason, one of the new rocker arms has failed once again. And hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully it didn't damage the brand new camshaft that we just put in. But um. We're just, we're just gonna play it by ear. We are. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Stay positive, Eric. Stay positive. Yeah. All right. Should have the old uh, dual camera system back up and working. I probably messed up something. We'll see. We'll see how this works. But before we get over to Kansas City, I, I purchased a ticket for something really exciting. Mm -hmm. And so we are gonna head there right now. If my phone will act it. There we go really spotty service here. Let's check on tater top. Looks good. The lake was nice. There's some people catching fish. I saw them pulling up fish all all over the place down there on the dock. But uh, yeah, uh, I have noticed that the, uh, the, the ticking is not as bad this morning. We'll, we'll probably update on all that once we get uh, parked over at Robert's Base Camp. But uh, I caught myself looking at schoolies again. I'm not saying anything's gonna happen real quick, but if I roll up and find the best bus to do a build, I might snatch it up to see what happens. Uh, also, people have been talking about Vanna White back in Illinois, you know, Eric. Go get Vanna White, fix your problem. It doesn't really fix all of my problems. Vanna White was never meant to be a vehicle used for living in full-time all the time. Um, I like the comforts of this RV and having the room and the big shower and it, everything about it. I don't necessarily like traveling with a big Class A all the time. Um, but yeah, construction on your route. Wonderful. Okay. My traffic was a mess. It's not quite as loud. Um, so they're going to stage us here in this line right here. And then we're going to be driving back. I think she's ready to take us there because I'm a little late. But guys, we're here at the Clydesdale Budweiser Ranch. How cool is this? I got to get back in the RV because we got a little bit more driving. All right, here we are at the Warm Springs Ranch in Missouri. It's famous. See these horses off to our right there? Them are Clydesdales. That's right. Did you know that Budweiser has a Clydesdale museum here? Mm hmm. And I got my ticket. There's another Clydesdale right there. Find out where exactly they want me to park. And uh, then we'll do this tour. Look how pretty this place is. The flowers are in bloom. Uh huh. And there's a sign Welcome to Warm Springs Ranch. Hey, I'll share as much as I can, guys. There's the Fowling area, the foaling, I don't know. There's the breeding room. Oh, look at that. 
She said we're gonna start here at the uh, red tables. Oh my gosh. I want one of these tables for base camp. I'm checking out the gift store on the way out and I wish you guys could smell the horses. Oh man. Wait, she just said something about free alcohol. Yeah, gotta head over here first. Thank you. Oh yeah. So the room we started at, this is where they do the breeding. <laughs> they move all the tables. This is where they do their own Clydesdale breeding. And she's walking us through everything. This is the examination stalls where they do the ultrasounds and everything. There's a special bay back there for the foals to stay next to their mother. I just don't want to film Rachel. She's doing a, a great job with it, but um, I want to keep this video short. So I'm just going to talk about some of the highlights. Now we're going into the pre foaling stalls. So these are the uh, birthing stables. So Diane would come in here. They also have uh, cameras up here so they can keep an eye on it. And they put magnets that can sense water, like water sensors in here. That way somebody's watching the cameras. They know when the, um, the horse's water broke and they can come deliver the baby. But they keep them really climate controlled in here. Uh, that's pretty cool. I guess we're going to go outside. You might actually see some Clydesdales out here. Good little tour. She's very informative, and this is supposed to be an hour-long thing, but oh, we got a visitor showing off here. Two other buildings I'll see and point out for you are going to be our hay barn and our machine shop. <laughs> Since she decided to come up and say hi, I'll ask that y'all stay on the blacktop for me. He's poking his head out now. In 2008 <laughs> is when we did finally bring our horses out here. That's Larry over there, the bronze statue. Larry. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to go into another stable here, I guess. Cool. The world-renowned Budweiser Clydesdales. Okay. And they're actually going through what's called halter breaking right now. So these kids are starting Aww. to get used to what it's like to wear a halter. He's a baby. So a it's a baby boy. Here's Patriot here. He's four years old. Wow. Getting a bath. He's getting a bath. <laughs> so they said we can pet one of them we can pet this one Clydesdale right here one of our commercial horses so if you look at the commercial beer country that Budweiser released he's one of the that's the front shoe there wow that's oh I guess cool. I also didn't mention we do stick tabs that look like this on the front of all of our horseshoes that tab is because horses like to paw at the ground and they like to kick their stall doors dominator actually it's Barney look how big Barney is no sir Here's a couple of their uh, traveling trailers that they tow with semi trucks. I, I didn't know that they had so many of these out. They have uh, three of them out right now. And when they uh, bring 10 horses out, they actually serve a one year out on the road. They're gone for a year doing parades and events and stuff like that. They bring 10, but they only put uh, eight of them to carry the wagons. So I um, guess they have some spares, some, some, some backups. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the rig that carries those Clydesdales. Pretty cool. And there are different trailers. Obviously, this one actually carries the uh, wagon in the back. And then you can see some of their stuff, some of the tack and gear. Uh -huh. And uh, they don't climate control these ones because they want the horses acclimated to where they're going to go. So they said there's no need to put air conditioning in there because they can just open the windows and turn the fans on. And uh, then they're used to whatever temperature. Like today is a hot day. This is probably the last hot day of summer here. 97 degrees here today. It's warm. Here's what their stalls uh, look like inside here. Cozy, right? I want a window seat. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go see the babies now. They got three foals that we get to see. Aww, the baby, Larry. And that's mom. But all the white spots that they have now, they'll actually keep as adults. Jenny is eating lunch right now, I guess. Jenny and Jessica. Benji, the breeding stallion that was actually still outside. This is actually Benji's daughter. Is it breakfast time? It's breakfast time. He was born on June 11th, but he is oh. the darkest. That is because genetics plays a huge factor into what our foals are going to look like. <laughs> so if you see his mom, Janet... You can see how Jay-Z is just starting to get his, his fluffy feet there. Yeah, this was the last spot. They're going to exit us through the gift store. Hopefully I can find a magnet and some other stuff. Good tour. Really awesome. More free Budweiser to go. Um, I just didn't want to film the whole thing, but you know, definitely, definitely recommend this one. If you're near St. Louis already and you went to the Anheuser-Busch tour, which I've done twice at the brewery, you might as well come here. It's like, what, an hour uh, west? It's really cool. See the horses. 
All right, here's those magnets. I think I wanna get something that has a horse on it, but I'm gonna look through these and I'll let you know when I get back in the RV which one I got. I right, came up front and they had a couple more magnets. This one's actually a bottle opener that's got the Clydesdale on it. And it yeah, I think that's the one I'm gonna get actually, yeah. All right, let's put on some more miles, guys. All right, well, getting off the interstate here once again. Uh, that's the second time my uh, Dash GoPro there has uh, given me issues today. Got an SD card error notice three seconds after I hit uh, record on it. So that's why I'm I'm holding my other camera in my hand instead. Um, I don't like it when that camera glitches just randomly like that when you're counting on it, but. That's the way GoPros are, man. It's just weird. Anyway, we're gonna take back roads and uh, go see some, some quirky stuff on a new route here on our way to Kansas City today. All right. I don't know what's up with my GoPro, but we're here in Sedalia, Sedalia, Missouri. And, uh, you're not cool, you're just loud. Um, at a famous train station here. Yeah, a lot of history here at the Sedalia Welcome Center. Gibson Souvenirs. Let's go check it out. Oh. Um, they are only open five days a week and for some reason closed on Saturdays and Sundays. I... Weird. I've... That seems like bad business. Um, well... Win some and lose some. Uh, I was going to show you the uh, famous Katie Depot here, but um, don't come on the weekends. Good to know. I was just looking to see what all's outside. Let's see the museum another time. Huh. My idea to take back roads on the weekends is uh, feeling me miserable. <laughs> Everything's open on uh, the interstate, but not the back roads this weekend. You know what? It must be too sunny and nice to be open. Hey, for the record, um, I have not seen a drop of rain in 24 hours. Not even a drop of rain. That's pretty awesome. What's going on right there? <laughs> An old ragtime piano. That is actually really awesome. The Cradle of Ragtime, Sedalia, Missouri. It's got that like Looney Tunes, Toontown feel with the uh, keyboard all up and down like that. That might be actually be a really good photo. Ow. Ow. All right, let's plug in Kansas City and at least see how far we are. It says one hour and 22 minutes. Yeah, I, I've had enough of today. I wanna, I wanna get parked and get Robert to look at all this noise the engine's making and see if he can come up with something. So we will head back over to Robert's base camp. Okay, made it out here to uh, Robert's base camp. His old bus is over on that side. I'm over on this side. And uh, for me personally, it's like, Really? We're, we're really gonna tear into this engine a third time on the, with the same exact issue? Yeah, we, we really, really are. And I, I'm trying to just laugh at it all. Um, a lot of my subscribers hate it when I'm negative about, or we're working on the RV and parked, but this is a fact of real life. And um, if you watch other channels that never have problems and life is always happy and they sit there and they lie to you and tell you that they love every dip second of every, Whatever, you can watch those kind of channels. Uh, I'm kind of more of a realist, but you know, I'm not a pessimist. I, we gotta tear into this and find out what's up. And I hope to get back to you really, really soon. I would love to get back on the road really, really soon also, but it is what it is. So Jackson, Tara and I will see. You guys didn't tell me baby girl was sneaking up on me. Hey you. Jackson, Tara and Jasmine, we'll get back to you here in a few days. Bye guys.